Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, you know the drill. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. Get this out of my way a little bit. Um, please share these on Facebook. Our subscriptions, our subscribers are going up. We're 24 people away, 24 subscribers away from doing a new giveaway. And I've already got the giveaway prize, uh, so we're ready to go. Uh, more on that uh, in a later date. Uh, but today I found the thing. Uh, as I was looking for uh, what I want to do today, uh, and it was uh, how Betty Lynn explained how she, how Thelma Lou became Barney's one true love. Um, now you remember the first uh, episode with them together with Cyrano Andy and how Barney had to get the courage up, and you know, and and uh, they just kind of connected and on, right there, right then and there. I thought. And, uh, and then, of course, it moved on, and um, uh, Thelma Lou is introduced as a potential sweetheart for Barney in the first season of the show during the episode, Cyrano Andy. Um, and uh, who would have thought that, that's, that it would have developed into what it is? I mean, we knew there was something there, but who would have thought that? Um, in the second season, the couple breaks up and Barney even immediately starts seeing someone else. Uh, in the fifth episode, Barney on the rebound. But it don't take long for the deputy to come back to Andy for more romantic help. Uh, and again, Andy helps Barney reunite with Thelma Lou by the episode's end. Uh, from this point on, Barney and Andy are... Uh, I'm having a real rough time with this today. Um... Uh, Barney and Thelma Lou are pretty steady, uh, and by the third season, they're even the ones helping Andy navigate a breakup in Barney Mint's Broken Heart. Then they set him up with a slew of new potential partners and a wife for Andy. Well, together they make a great team, uh, even if their intentions are always better than the execution. Uh, over the course of the series, uh, she becomes the perfect partner for Barney, just as Andy was the perfect partner at work. Uh, appearing in 26 episodes, Thelma Lou is right there for Barney, through thick and thin, as Barney's soulmate. She was a sweet and stable force in the twitchy deputy's Mayberry life. In an interview uh, with Betty Lynn, she once explained that the Andy Griffith show didn't necessarily plan to give Barney uh, a love life uh, with someone like Thelma Lou that would last. That kind of just happened, uh, the way true love often does. Um, the actress said she came in to audition for Thelma Lou for Cyrano Andy, and after that, the other television series in which she was contracted was canceled, and she became available any time the Andy Griffith show called her up. Uh, she said, I didn't have a contract, uh, explaining that her appearances on the Andy Griffith show simply came along one episode at a time, building out the love story of Thelma Lou and Barney bit by bit. But it was easy to see every, everybody on the show would become a fan of Betty Lynn's work and ask her back. Knotts praised her as a fine actress, and she said their affection for one another, both on and off screen, was mutual. They, they called me occasionally, Betty Lynn said, and I got to play opposite Don Knotts, who I loved. You know, you could, you could always feel it on screen. Uh, but I guess... Uh, off screen it played out like a love too, like a love story too. It's a different kind of love, but a love story just the same. And uh, now they're together again uh, in heaven, which is, God bless them, that's about the best place in the world to be. Um, but I just thought it was kind of neat how she portrayed it, how she put it. Uh, and like I've always said, it's just blows my mind to think of Thelma Lou just not being there, you know, I mean, it's just 26 episodes. I was just picture the whole town of Mayberry's there, and just because you don't see him on camera doesn't mean, hey, Thelma Lou's over visiting uh, the preacher, or uh, Goober is over at Floyd's, you know, while something else is going on on camera. 
I always thought that was just my mindset. And when I explained this in an earlier uh, video, people agreed. People were like me. That's the magic of Mayberry. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you being here. I really do. Please share these out and let's get subscribers up to 650 and we'll do the next giveaway. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click it right down there and you'll be subscribed. And don't forget to ring the bell right next to the subscribe uh, subscription thing down there and uh, you'll be notified when I put out new videos, which is normally daily, Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, it reruns. Anyway, have a great day. We'll catch you tomorrow. God bless. Uh, real quick before I go, the reason I'm kind of shouting is because my microphone is on the fritz. So I'm going to be working on that. Uh, God bless and I'll be praying for you.